Welcome to Health Pop, your look at top health stories. Today, what heading a soccer ball does to your brain, mastication-induced arousal, and it's official, scientists confirm that boozing can lead to really bad decisions. First up, heading a soccer ball could affect your memory. Soccer parents, don't pull your kids off the team just yet, at least not until you watch this entire Health Pop. Then pull your kids off the team, because if they're like me, they're probably really bored. Anyways, last year, a researcher in California tracked collegiate soccer players and found that those who engaged in frequent heading performed worse on visual memory tests. They also reported more headaches and dizziness than other players. Now, researchers using a new MRI technique known as diffusion tensor imaging say that frequent headers showed a pattern of white matter loss in the brain that's similar to what's seen in traumatic brain injuries. So where's the good news in all this? Well, there isn't any. Except that none of the study's authors suggest outlawing heading, you know, just cut it back a bit. It seems that if you head the ball less than 1,100 times a year, you'll be okay, so that gives you at least three headings a day before you need to worry. Then again, if you let yourself get whacked in the head by balls more than three times a day, you don't really have a brain worth protecting. Next up, gum chewing can make you a better test taker. Gather round, my little bazooka joes and chiclets. I think it's time we had a talk about mastication. You're at an age now where your body's changing and you're going to want to chew things, and that's perfectly normal. In fact, a study in the journal Appetite found that students who chewed gum for five minutes before a test performed better than those that didn't chew gum. And the reason? Mastication-induced arousal, which I can only assume was named by someone who loves to giggle, Anyways, mastication-induced arousal is just a fancy way of saying that the physical activity of chewing boosts brain performance. Previous research has shown that physical activity can improve test scores, but this study proves that even minor physical activity has a similar effect. Finally, this one's a shocker. Alcohol can impair your decision-making process. <laughs> According to a study published in the journal Addiction, the more alcohol a person drinks, the more willing they are to engage in unsafe sex. You know, I'd imagine the recruitment process went something like this. Hey, I want to give you booze until you agree to have unprotected sex. It's okay. I'm a scientist. Whether or not that actually happened, the study did. Participants were randomly allocated to one of two groups in which they either consumed alcohol or did not. Then, their intention to engage in unprotected sex was measured. And just as I suspected and previously experienced, booze makes everyone more attractive. For every 0.1 increase in blood alcohol level, study participants were 5% more likely to engage in unsafe sex. The study's authors say that future HIV AIDS prevention programs should include the results of this study, despite the fact that it seems painfully obvious. You know, it's like I always say, it's not that confusing if you're gonna go boozing, there's no sense in refusing, bring a condom for using. That's your health pop. I'm Nick Dietz, CBSNews.com.